The year was 2018. We were in July, and the Pittsburgh Pirates were playing winning baseball. They had just gone on an 11-game win streak, which of course caused them to buy at the trade deadline. Longtime GM Neil Huntington was going in on a playoff push, but they would have to give up a lot to get the player that they wanted. Ray's starting pitcher Chris Archer was the main target. Obviously, Tampa Bay is notorious for trading veterans and having an eye for young talent. So they told Pittsburgh their asking price, which included three good players. A young, rookie outfielder in Austin Meadows who had only played a little bit, but he still looked really good. They also wanted a starting pitcher in Tyler Glasnow, a player who had the most experience at the MLB level, but they would definitely have to develop him. And then last but not least, a future top prospect in Shane Boz. At the time, it was perfect. I mean, the Pirates go on an 11 game win streak. You bet you're gonna go and buy. Archer was gonna be a good get. I mean, at least it looked like it. His ERA may have been a 431 ERA, but at the same time, his FIP was a 362. Meaning if you take away bad defense out of the equation, he was actually having a pretty decent year. But then it came time for his major league Buckos debut. Chris Archer, the longtime veteran, did not have a good outing at all. He gave up seven hits, five runs, and four innings. Unfortunately for Archer and the Pirates, it never really worked out. His FIP was a flat-out four, and his ERA was a 430. The Pirates missed out on the playoffs, finishing fourth in the division. This trade began a new era for Pittsburgh. It began a rebuild. The 2019 Pirates were awful, I mean another losing product that does not make the playoffs. The Chris Archer trade continued to look bad, in 23 starts, Archer had a 5.19 ERA. In the meantime, the players they traded were only getting better. Outfielder Austin Meadows was having a breakout year, and I mean truly a great year. 33 home runs, 291 batting average, and an OPS of 992 cementing his name as one of the best rising stars of 2019. Oh, and the pitcher they traded, Tyler Glasnow? He had a 178 ERA and 11 starts. Now, just imagine if the Pirates would have just kept him. They could have had their starting pitcher in the rotation right then. Pirates fans were mad. Owner Bob Nutting knew that he had to go and take action, firing the 12-year general manager, Neil Huntington, and also firing 9-year-long manager, Clint Hurdle. The Pirates' rebuild had officially begun. In the meantime, down in Tampa Bay, they made the playoffs in 2019 for the first time since 2023. The future was extremely bright. Young stars emerging left and right, while they may have been eliminated that year, the team was still really good, finding themselves in the World Series one year later in 2020. Austin Meadows had a bad year, I mean it was flat out awful, but he did hit two home runs in the postseason. Then you have Tyler Glasnow, who pitched in 11 games and had a 4.08 ERA. Both of these players, of course, contributed into making it into the World Series. Yeah, they might have lost it, but still, impressive nonetheless. 2021 was going to be another great year for Tampa, where they won 100 games. Glasnow, unfortunately, had to get a second Tommy John surgery, but he was still doing great before the injury. Meadows had a decent year, hitting 27 homers, and then you had one more player. Shane Boz, the prospect of the Chris Archer trade. He became a top three prospect for Tampa Bay and their system, making his major league debut in that season, and he actually pitched very solid in the 13 innings that he got. Meanwhile, Chris Archer wasn't even on the Pirates anymore. Oh, and the Pirates lost 100 games in 2021. The pain from this trade just kept growing and growing with Pittsburgh. Meanwhile, Tampa Bay was unfortunately eliminated in the playoffs, so they then moved on to 2022, where a lot happened. Meadows actually flipped for Isak Paredes in a trade. He was a super unproven player, but Paredes was someone who had potential. The Rays in 2022 also expected Buzz to be fully healthy at the MLB level. But unfortunately, he suffered an injury that forced him to get Tommy John. Oh, and Tyler Glasnow? Yeah, he was also out all season with Tommy John as well. So honestly, by this point, the Archer trade didn't turn out as bad as anyone thought for Pittsburgh. But then, 2023 happened, and stuff changed. The player the race flipped for Austin Meadows, aka Isak Paredes, broke out. 250 batting average, 31 homers, and an 840 OPS. Not to mention, he's super young and he's under contract until 2028. 
Also, Tyler Glasnow was finally healthy. 353 ERA and 21 starts. Tampa Bay was great, finishing the season as a 99-win team. The only unfortunate part about it is that Shane Buzz was still out all season with his Tommy John surgery from the year before. So, as of right now, we're still pretty unsure about his future. And, of course, Tampa Bay was eliminated in the playoffs, as always, by the way. But one thing, I will tell you for sure, Tampa did not regret doing the Chris Archer trade. It didn't end there. They were able to trade Tyler Glasnow for two highly valued Dodgers prospects, pitcher Ryan Pepio and outfielder Johnny DeLuca. Last time we saw Tampa trade a veteran pitcher for prospects, it's safe to say it went really well. Maybe, and just maybe, they could have just pulled it off again. The ripple effect that this trade had was unlike any other. It caused a GM to get fired, a manager to get fired, the Pirates to enter a rebuild, Archer to completely fall off, the Rays got a World Series appearance with these players and several playoff bursts, they trade Meadows for Paredes, they trade Glasnow for several prospects, the Dodgers are put over the top by adding Glasnow, and the Rays still have a top prospect in Shane Boss from the Archer trade. What do you guys think? I think that this trade was just unbelievable, the ripple effect was crazy. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, please subscribe if you did, if not, thanks for watching anyway, and peace out.